Hello everyone. Welcome to class 8 science videos of chapter 3. Synthetic fibers and plastics. In our previous videos, we have learned about synthetic fibers. In this video, we will discuss the characteristics of synthetic fibers. We are familiar with polymer-based synthetic fibers such as rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic. A polymer is a chain of small units called monomers. The process of combining monomers together to form a polymer is called polymerization. Different polymers are used to make synthetic fibers of different kinds. The polymer and its characteristics will differ depending on the chemical substance present in it. Can you say why cotton dresses are preferred over polyester while dealing with crackers? Yes, we learned that polyesters catch fire easily. When clothes made up of synthetic fibers catch fire, it melts and sticks to the body of the person wearing them. This causes severe burns. Therefore, we should avoid wearing synthetic clothing while dealing with fire. Cotton, on the other hand, is a natural polymer with natural fibers that do not melt when heated. So, it is safe to wear clothes made of natural fibers while working in the kitchen or in a science laboratory. That's why your mother wear cotton fabrics while working in the kitchen. Therefore, we can say that synthetic fibers catch fire and melt faster than natural fibers. Let us now do an activity to understand another property of synthetic fibers. Take two cloth materials of the same size, one made of cotton and the other of nylon. Soak both the materials in two separate containers with an equal amount of water. After 5 minutes, take the cloth pieces from the containers and spread them in the sun. Now, compare the volume of water left over in the containers. What do you observe? Yes, we can see more water in the container where we soaked nylon cloth than in the container where we soaked cotton. This is because cotton cloth absorbed more water, whereas the synthetic one absorbed very little. Now check the clothes that we spread in the sun after half an hour of drying. We can see that the synthetic cloth dried up quickly, but the cotton one was still damp. So. A cotton cloth will take a longer time to dry because it has absorbed a large quantity of water. From this, we can say that synthetic fiber has low water absorbency than natural fiber. Do you know why clothes made of synthetic fibers are not suitable for wearing in hot summers? Synthetic fibers are extremely fine. The clothes made of synthetic fibers do not have sufficient sized pores for sweat to come out, evaporate and cool our bodies. As a result, synthetic clothing makes us feel hot and uncomfortable during summer, causing itching and rashes as the sweat remains in the body. Clothing composed of natural fibers like cotton is more comfortable in the summer.
cotton clothes have larger pores which allows the body sweat to come out through them to evaporate and make us feel cool and comfortable also cotton clothes can absorb more sweat from our bodies now can you tell me the kind of umbrella would you use on a rainy day and why yes we must use an umbrella made of synthetic materials because it absorbs less water and dries faster also it is durable and less expensive when comparing synthetic and natural fibers synthetic fibers are more cost effective durable and readily available apart from this dresses made of synthetic fibers are strong lightweight fine wrinkle free and smooth in nature also they do not get shrink and retains their original size even after washing these unique characteristics of synthetic fibers make them popular dress materials from this video we can say that synthetic fibers possess the following characteristics synthetic fibers catch fire and melt faster than natural fibers synthetic fiber has low water absorbency than natural fiber synthetic fibers are strong cost effective lightweight and durable